researchers in the Cancer Genetics and Immunology theme at Menzies. We've got a stall here at Open Day trying to explain to people um, how amazing the human genome is, how complex the human genome is, and get a little bit more interest from um, students from undergraduate all the way through to, to postgraduate degrees and um, future research careers. So Menzies is a great place to, to come and study, especially for uh, medical research, for, for human disease research, mostly because we have this incredible engagement with the Tasmanian community. Um, we also have a really good engagement with the Royal Hobart Hospital right next door, so we um, have lots of clinicians who work closely with us, and that makes it easy for us to, um, to kind of get into some of the more interesting disease areas we might want to work in. My name is Professor Greg Woods. I work here at the Menzies Research Institute, Tasmania. Well, this poor guy's got a cancer, and it starts off in the face, called facial tumour disease. 90% of this population has been wiped out. He's lost all of his relatives, apart from just a few remaining. So we are desperate to protect this guy. So what we're doing is trying to develop a vaccine. Taz has come to actually see what, what research we're doing and what, what's going on. Uh, he's come up to the lab because uh, we're, in, we're in a PC2 lab. We're wearing, our, we're wearing our gear. We've got some of the lab work going on at the moment, even though it's a weekend. At open day, uh, the, this lab is always open. Our guy's doing the work all the time. He's also come to meet some of the people who provide some funding for it. Funding is critically important for, for our research and the Save the Tasmania Devil Program Appeal is one key aspect of, of, of our research. So we have got a range of students, some students are just starting out in their, in their degrees, some students are halfway through it and some students are towards the end of it. We've got honours students, PhD students, a lot of students work on this project. This research couldn't continue without, without students. So enrol in the university, do a Bachelor of Medical Research degree and who knows, you can help protect this guy. Uh, at the moment on Open Day we're on sort of helping out, showing people through the ambulance and uh, answering people's questions that they might have relating to the course. But we've also already done a couple of scenarios in eye of the visitors. And I think the reason why I did it was because you're helping people that, you know, in their moment of crisis, you're going to them, they want your help and it's satisfying to know that you, you helped, uh, you made a difference on their life and their family's life as well. Hello, I'm Jeff Long from Jeff Long Music and, and the reason that I'm here is the uh, connection between music and neurological development and brain development. We're very happy to come along. We've, we've brought a piano and we have some of our students playing uh, at the Menzies Centre. And we've, uh, we've enjoyed the afternoon and the morning and the kids have enjoyed coming and playing. My name is Marty. I'm a postdoctoral research fellow here at Menzies. Um, I work as part of the, the blood pressure research group and we do a whole host of research um, looking at, at ways to, to improve um, the diagnosis of high blood pressure and also uh, new and, and interesting ways to, to manage the condition as well. Here today at Open Day we've got a number of different devices out on display. Um, so we're, we're measuring uh, individuals' blood pressures to see where they're at. Um, so high blood pressure is one of the, the biggest risk factors for cardiovascular disease. Um, so it can be one of those things that's easily checked. Um, the other machine that we've got on display is an ultrasound machine. Um, specifically what we've got on, on display today is uh, a, a an ultrasound image of, of the carotid artery, so the main artery to, to the brain. Um, and we can look at the blood flow through, through that artery. We can also measure the, the changes in, in the wall um, of, of those arteries. So the 